Guys, check out this gear guide department. I want to share a product with you that is absolutely going to change the industry. Very rarely do I get as excited, you know, with these different innovations as I am with this particular product. It's called the C-Swivel. Let me explain to you what this is here. Big trolling motors are starting to really take over the industry. You're starting to see a lot of them, not only on all of the flat skips and the bay boats and the hybrid boats, but certainly on these big high-powered center consoles. We're on a 39 Sea Hunter. You'll see these big trolling motors on boats all the way up to the 46 CTS and across really their entire range of models. Now, I want to explain to you what this is. You know what a trolling motor is, but in Inherently, the problem with these big trolling motors is there haven't really been a good way to secure them, haven't really been a good way to maneuver them around the deck. So Mark here from Sea Hunter actually engineered, innovated this design right here. And I'm going to let Mark kind of walk you through the whole process, because obviously, Mark, you know Sea Swivel yep. better than anything, better than anybody. You created it. Yep. So walk us through it. Walk us through deploying the trolling motor and exactly what the benefit are of the sea swivel guys check this out yeah for sure so basically as he was saying the problem with these trolling motors have always been when you mount these things you know this is a 108 rodan so you have a long shaft that's poking off this thing so normally when we used to install these before i made this mount i would have to take away this cleat so you lose a cleat and then I have to make a bracket that goes over here and then fiberglass a wedge permanently in the hull. Seems like a lot of work. A lot of work. Right. So not only are you basically losing your cleat, but then you can't open your anchor locker anymore. Right. So it's either you have to take the trolling motor on and off or just leave it on there and just deal with all that. But the biggest problem that we've had is to deploy this thing, you would have to climb on top of this gunnel offshore when it's rough to be able to put that thing in the water. Doesn't make sense, certainly not Not safe. comfortable at all. Of course, of course. So with this swiveling mount, you simply just undo the lock. And this is just a ram mount, that's all that's this is. That's just a ram mount. Just so ram yeah, mount. so there, there's not a, um, a locking position on the mount because all these trolling motors, you have to have some kind of ram mount or, or some kind of support because when you're running, th course, this is going to bounce everywhere. So we, we actually utilize these mounts to hold it when it's in the stowed position. Right. So you're going to remove the mount. So now you're loose. You're going to simply just pull up on the pin, twist it. It's going to automatically fall in its spot. So now you're in a deployed position. So if you were to just permanently mount it right here, it would be great. You can put it in and out of the boat, but then now you're stuck with this thing hanging inside your boat. Exactly, and I think that's a question people are going to ask is, wait, well, why not just leave a fixed mount there? Because you have this. Look at this. That thing's going to bounce all over the place. No I mean, question. you could put a ram mount here, but this thing is just protruding in the boat. And even if you did, you're going to lose these rod holders. You're going to lose all of this space right here, right? So without climbing on top of the gunnel or doing anything, you simply just put your hand down, put it in the water, and now you're ready to get spot locked. Look all, at that. all from not leaving the safety of the deck. Now that absolutely took only a few seconds. And again, guys, I want to show you how easy it was to deploy. But really, I think the bigger benefit is to really retract it Correct. back into the boat and to secure it. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah, w whether you have my mount or anyone else's mount that's fixed, when it's in the water, it isn't the problem. You know? right. It being on my mount or being on a flat plate ain't going to make any, any differences right now because it's in the water. But yeah. the, the, the issue would be coming back in. So I can, you know, from the safety of the deck just simply put the latch down pick up on the trolling motor and remember this is not in. a small trolling motor this, this is up. well over 100 inches and you're done Look now you're that. stowed and now right in that ram mount yep. secure it real tight that literally took less than 15 10 seconds yep. 10 or 15 seconds so you can still totally secure all these rod holders you still have all your access you have access to your anchor locker you didn't lose any of your cleats just Simple. a perfect scenario. Mark, sea swivel, adaptable or versatile on the full range, not yeah, only of so sea can, hunter models, but correct. all boats. You can mount this to whatever boat you want as long as you have an eight by eight flat mounting surface. So your base plate right here is what's gonna actually get mounted to the deck itself. And then your top plate is eight inches by 18.5 inches long. So really all you need is a boat that has a flat surface that can take an eight by eight plate. And, and so it's versatile it. really for everybody. Mount it on whatever boat you want. Now I'm looking at the quality. Okay, yes. clearly this is made in the US. I mean, look at this, T all, tell us all, how it's made. Yeah, it's all machined here in the US. Uh, this is made out of 6061 T6 aluminum, which is aircraft aluminum. Uh, the top plate is five eighths uh, inch 
thick, bottom plate's half inch, and then we actually su uh, supply you with a backing plate, a quarter inch backing plate. Underneath. Yep. And so then that's that, not going anywhere. Not going ever. anywhere. And then this bolt, that's a three quarter inch bolt that's through bolted through the entire deck. Wow. So wow. not only do you have the structure of my mount, but you're actually utilizing the boat structure as well because the bolt's going through the gunnel For added and then going through the whole bottom. Awesome. And then two final questions here. One, I could still very easily remove the trolling motor Correct. to secure it, to lock yep. it up. I don't want it on the boat. I don't need it on the boat all of the time, Correct. right? So it's so, not a system where it's locked in like I could still remove that. Not, not at all. So uh, our holes that are inside of our plates are actually pre-drilled for Rodan. Uh, Garmin, the new Garmin Kraken, all the Minn Kota lines, the Altera, uh, all of them are all pre-drilled. So we are actually using their release pucks to mount to our plates. So if uh, Mr. Whaley, who owns this boat, and wanted to remove this, you can just undo the key, pull the pin out, and then you can remove the whole trolling motor. And then you have a nice flat plate left where it's not gonna intrude you fishing the boat. I'm telling you guys, now you see why I'm so excited about this, because it really is a game changer in the industry. Mark, how does somebody learn more about about Sea Swivel, where do they go? Is there a website? Yeah, you what can if go I to, want to learn uh, more? Seaswivel.com. Uh, you can shoot us an um, email, info at seaswivel.com. Okay. Um, also, Sea Hunter is uh, one of the main dealerships for this product, so you can also go to their website as well. Gotcha. Swing by the marina. We're always here. I can always show you the product here. Perfect. Um, we're doing a lot of these now. I'm doing a lot of actual re uh, refits. So I had a, a client last year that I put one of these 108s on, on his 33. And uh, again, I had to do that crazy mounting system up here right. and even with the mounting system I still it was overhanging over his rub rail uh, so, he, so up every against time the dock every time he had to go on his lift he had to undo his ram mm. mount and hold the trolling motor to get on the lift and let it go so we actually did a refit with one of my new mounts on there got you well I'll tell you what it really is an extraordinary solution to a problem that all saltwater fishermen across Florida across the country who are using trolling motors that they've had this is the ultimate solution seaswivel.com I'm telling you guys do the education, do the homework, spend the time, come here, look at it for yourself. Don't be convinced by me. I want you to make that educated decision. Mark is encouraging you to do it. If you're in South Florida, if you're in the Keys, swing by the Sea Hunter Marina on Manatee Bay, see the Sea Swivel for yourself, and I promise you, you're gonna be a believer.